Hello students, I am Asma Mishtaq from the W Vibes. Uh, now let's discuss what are the parallel clipper circuits and how do they work. So uh, as I mentioned in the previous slides, uh, you can see that the parallel clipper circuits are those types of the circuits where we connect the diode with the load or at the output side in parallel manners or in the parallel way. So when you are taking the output across the terminals of the diode then we say that such types of the circuits are the parallel clipper circuits where R in this circuit is actually the current limiting resistor fine so considering the operation of this parallel clipper circuit we see that it's not a biased parallel clipper because there is no biasing uh, present or there is no battery connected in series with the diode fine Let's see if you apply a sinusoidal input voltage over here and its magnitude is equal to 5 volts then what type of the output voltage waveform we can obtain. We will see or we will start the analysis when we apply the zero voltages or when zero voltages are present at the anode terminal okay. So when the zero voltages are present at the anode terminal, obviously the diode will be reverse biased until the input voltage reaches to 0.7 volt. This diode will not start conduction. Okay, when the input voltage starts increasing the magnitude from the 0.7 up till 5 volt, what will happen? This diode will be forward biased and we can replace it with a short circuit. And now we can see that we are measuring the V out across the diode terminal. So in case of the ideal diode for the whole positive cycle, we will be getting 0 volt at the output side which is V out. And in case of the practical diode you can replace it with the 0 0.7 volt battery. Fine. And in that case, the circuit will be drawn like that, where you replace the anode terminal with the positive terminal of the battery and cathode terminal with the negative terminal of the battery. So practically the V out will be equal to 0.7 volt for the whole positive cycle. Fine. For the negative half cycle of the input signal, obviously this diode will be reverse biased and the equivalent circuit can be drawn like the diode will act now as an open circuit. So the current path will not complete and hence you can see that V out will be equal to a open circuit now. So whatever the source voltages are present they will be automatically forwarded at the output side and you will see such type of the output voltage waveform okay you can also say that this is actually a positive parallel clipper fine now let's consider another circuit so this circuit is an example of the parallel bias clipper again you can see a battery is connected in series with a diode and we are taking the terminal across the this point okay so this is a parallel example now parallel circuit example uh, you can see here i have chosen a different input voltage waveform which is actually a triangular waveform and uh, its magnitude is actually from minus 10 volt to 10 volt fine also you will see here the anode terminal is held at the positive or plus 4 volt potential so let's see how the output will be affected now okay so let's start our analysis uh, while considering the potential at the anode and at the cathode terminal you can see that anode terminal is held at plus 4 volt which is fixed potential okay while the potential at the cathode will start increasing from 0 volt and it will reach to 10 volt so we will uh, start the analysis from the 0 volt and then we will gradually increase in the magnitude and we will see how this circuit will respond so as long as input voltage 
which is v in is 0 volt and node 2 cathode potential is 4 minus 0 volt which is equal to 4 volt a positive value that's why it will be forward biased okay similarly when the cathode uh, voltages are equal to 1 volt or 2 volt or 3 volt or 4 volt okay before 4 volt means when the cathode voltages Four point sorry three point three volts and node two cathode potential remains positive and the diode will be forward wired. So we will consider till the point three point three volts and Till then diode will be forward biased okay we will replace the diode with the short circuit or with the 0 0.7 volt battery and we will see the output voltages will be equal to since it's the cathode terminal so negative then positive and this is basically our V out 0 0.7 volts and then 4 volts. So plus 4 volt minus 0 0.7 volt will result in magnitude equal to 3.3 .3 volts. So you will get this type of the output voltage waveform before 3.3 .3 volt or till this input voltage. Okay. When the input voltage will start increasing it will become 4 volt or 5 volt or 6 or 7 or 10 volt the cathode potential will be more positive with respect to the anode that's why this will be reverse biased it will act as an open circuit so you will get the output voltage waveform equal to the input voltage waveform because across uh, when you are having a source and there is no conduction and you are just measuring the output across it or in parallel then whatever the input voltage is you will get the similar value at the output side so again until it reaches to 3.3 volt the diode will be reverse biased it will act as an open circuit and you will get the output voltage waveform like that fine again uh, when input voltage will reach to <coughs> 3.3 volt 3 volt 2 volt or 1 volt or even when the input voltages are negative then we can observe that the potential at the cathode terminal will be smaller as compared to the anode suppose input voltage is equal to minus 5 so minus 5 is present at the cathode terminal while the plus 4 is present at the anode terminal so 4 minus minus 5 will result in 4 plus 5 which is equal to 9 volt and hence the diode will be forward biased for the whole negative cycle okay and we can replace it with a short circuit or with the battery 0.7 volt and then you can see we will get this type of the output voltage waveform continuously so this is the example of the parallel biased clippers if you have some question, you can drop your questions in the comment section. Thank you for watching.